So got Word. Uh, it's not well. A lot of people just call it Word, but it's got Microsoft Office. It's also got uh, iWork, which. All right. Here's a little question: Which one should I actually buy? I have the trial version of both. Um, which one should I buy? Uh, iWork 09 or um, Microsoft Office 08? And I'm just going to be using this for school. And I'm I work exports to uh, Word documents and PowerPoint documents and Power Keynote and uh, Pages would be the ones I'd use, and Word and PowerPoint would be the ones I'd use for school. So just a little poll, and uh, let me know what you which one you prefer or you'd recommend. So back to the video. All right. Um, now I'm going to shut this down and, well actually I'm going to prove that the CD drive still works. This is just a printer driver for my printer over there, but this is an old printer so it doesn't quite work with these computers. Actually it works, it's just the software doesn't. Hold on. There it goes. Here it spin up. Should place it right there. Okay. There you go, proof that the CD drive is working. And I'm going to pause the video. Actually, I'm going to shut the Mac down. And just for people who'd like to know how to get your Mac into target mode, and let me show you what I've been doing with my FireWire cable and port. So that's what I've been using it for. Shut down. This thing shuts down really fast. Check it out. It used to. Then I locked down this system pretty good. Oh well. Alright, now, over here is my PowerMac G4, Quicksilver, FireWire cable connected to the FireWire 400 on this laptop, and the FireWire, one of the four FireWire 400 ports on my G4. So, now, I'm going to power up this laptop, press and hold T. It does this, and then over here, it should pop up. There it is. So, those of you who have two Macs and like them to communicate, that's how. See, I can go to applications. This is everything that's on this computer. So, yeah. Instead of that, you have to eject it, then you can press the power button. Comes out of that, close it again.
got power to the USB. And now comes the boot process. Right, so I have to type in my password and this should the video will be over soon. It's just you know. And I would recommend this laptop to other people. It's a good laptop. It's just it's got decent sound from the main speakers. It's just, you know, it's old. It shows its age. Oh, check this out. Mac, quit this application. Hold on a second. Give it a moment. And... Still loading. Mac, quit this application. Mac, quit this application. I don't know why it's not wanting to work, but it usually does. Woo! There it goes. Quit this application. Mac, quit this application. went away. I've heard. Oh well. So that is my review on my Power Mac G4. No, my bad. My iBook G4. I've already done a review on my Power Mac G4 Quicksilver. And uh, so, yeah. This is Love's Art 24-7. Signing off.